This episode is supported by MonsterJoysticks.com. Level up your Raspberry Pi with our all-in-one arcade kit using genuine Sanwar arcade parts. Hello, cave dwellers, and welcome back to the cave for competition time, or the results to our competition. And uh, I've got a guest with me today. His name is... Why don't you tell everyone what your name is? Thomas! His name is Thomas. He's retro cave boy today. And he's helping me to uh, pick the winner out, because... We've figured out that on average, the quality of picture that you've sent in is around about that of a six-year-old. How old are you, Thomas? Six. Six years old. So Thomas is perfectly placed to help us to judge these pictures. So uh, even if you haven't entered the competition, stick around because I think you really need to see these. Should we pick a winner, Thomas? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, let's pick a winner. <laughs> I am of course joking, some pictures were of a very high standard, but many, well, just see for yourselves. This next picture, Thomas, is from Phil, he's 35 years old. But that's old. It is old, isn't it? And he's drawn a picture of a Commodore 64. What do you think of that? Rubbish. <laughs> How rubbish? Very. Is that the worst picture of a computer you've ever seen? Yes. I think I agree. Let's look at some more. Here's another picture of a man called Dean and he's 42 years old. Oh, that's old. You think that's old? Yeah, very. Here's a picture that he's drawn of his ZX Spectrum. What do you think of that? Good, I, I think I could draw something better You think you that. could draw better? I think you probably yeah. could. And the other thing I've noticed is that he's he's put the keys in the wrong place. Yeah. So the A shouldn't be there, should it? Should it be a 1 there? There should be. And the ace should start there. That's right, yeah. Good, but the keys aren't in the right places. Good, but the keys aren't in the right places, Dean. But thank you for your entry. Thomas, this next entry is from somebody called Pavel Moravec. That's a weird name. You think that's a weird name? Yeah. Well, do you think he's drawn a weird picture? Let's have a look. He's 32 years old, old. and he's from a country called the Czech Republic. Do you know where that is in the world? No. The well, Dominican Republic? Not the Dominican Republic, no, the Czech Republic. I don't know where that is. Mm. Well, one. here's a picture of a computer that he's drawn. And there's a cassette tape That's with it. That's very good. That is a good picture, isn't it? So Thomas and I have been playing PlayStation because I promised him he could if he came to visit and help us today. But now it's time to pick a winner, isn't it? And what we're going to do is um, we've written a program on the Commodore 64 which will generate a random number 
And what will that number do? Send a mail to the mailbox. It won't send a mail to the mailbox. <laughs> it will take a mail from the It will mailbox. pick a mail from the mailbox, won't it? Yeah. So we've had 109 competition entries in the mailbox. We will generate a number from 1 to 109, as you can see in the code here. And uh, we'll go through the emails and pick out the email corresponding to that number. Goodbye, Thomas. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and uh, let's go and find out who the winners are, shall we, Thomas? Yeah. Okay. Thomas. <laughs> And the numbers that were picked were number 63 for the winner and number 92 for the runner-up. This is the prize, why don't you hold it up and we will announce who the winner is. Uh, number 92, the runner-up who wins a mug, is Pablo Bravo from Spain. Have you ever been to Spain? Yeah. Yeah, where did you go in Spain? Do you know which part? No. No? Okay. And the winner is number 63 and that is, can you give me a drum roll? That is Corey Engel from the USA. Corey wins the Atari Lynx with the modded screen. Hold it up so Corey can see his prize. Yeah. Say well done, Corey. Well done, Corey. Well done, Corey. So I will be in touch to um to well I've got your address, but I'll in, I'll be in touch to give you tracking details and let you know when that's going to arrive. And uh, there's just one more thing to do, and that's to pick the picture that Thomas thought uh, put the best effort in and was the best picture. Thomas, why don't you show us who the winner is? And the winner of the best picture is this picture! <laughs> and as Thomas showed us, the winner there was... Loic Spitchers. Loic Spitchers? <laughs> it's Loic Sitchpers? <laughs> Loic, we think that's your name. Apologies if we're pronouncing it wrong. One more time, Thomas, what's his name? Loic Spitchers! There you go. Congratulations. Thank you for putting so much effort into your picture. We thought it was great. Uh, I'll also be in touch to um, let you pick your mug because you have the choice of which mug you want from the Retro Man Cave shop. Do you have a shop in here? Yeah, there's a shop here. Have you not seen it? No. Should we go and look at it? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>So thank you again to all and a special thank you to those like Lily here who went the extra mile with their entries. I wasn't able to show all the entries today but I did look at and enjoy every single one of them and no doubt we'll have another competition again in the near future. So thank you all and take care. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider supporting the channel using the links in the description, visit monsterjoysticks.com forward slash rmc, or simply subscribe and come back for more soon.